Hidden in the rainforests of New Guinea is a giant highland banana tree. This tree is 15 meters tall, has leaves that spread 20 meters wide, and a giant bunch of bananas containing 300 bananas. On another farm in the plains, these banana trees also produce a lot of fruit. So is banana farming difficult? Today, we will travel to the country with the largest banana production in the world to see how farmers here grow millions of tons of bananas every year. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can make more videos for you. The history of bananas traces back to Southeast Asia, with evidence suggesting their cultivation in the Philippines as early as 10,000 years ago. Over time, bananas spread to other regions, undergoing a hybridization process in Africa around 650 AD that gave rise to the seedless varieties prevalent today. Bananas are a nutritious fruit that provides very good sustainable energy, so they are pretty popular with athletes and footballers. Their versatility and adaptability have made them a staple food crop in many tropical and subtropical regions. The Philippines stands as the world's third largest banana producer behind India and China. The country's tropical climate, characterized by abundant sunshine and warm temperatures, provides an ideal environment for banana cultivation. The Davao region is the top banana producer in the Philippines, accounting for 37.4% supply as of 2019 production. Following Davao is the southernmost major island group in the Philippines, Mindanao, Dole's Banana Farm in Mindanao, Southern Philippines, is considered the banana capital of Southeast Asia, with a total area of nearly 20,000 hectares on plains, midlands, and highlands. Dole's banana plantations thrive in a variety of soil types, including clay, silt, and volcanic soils, with a pH between 6 and 7. Banana plantations in the Philippines cultivate three primary varieties, which are 50% Cavendish and 50% Lakatan and Saba, often exported fresh and made into banana chips. Bananas are one of the most important crops in the Philippines, providing more than 513,000 jobs nationwide. The most common propagation method for bananas in the Philippines is tissue culture a technique that involves replicating healthy plant cells in a controlled environment. This method produces disease-free, uniform plants that are well-suited for intensive cultivation. Once the baby banana plants have developed sufficient roots and leaves, they are carefully transplanted into prepared banana holes about 0.3 to 0.5 meters deep and 50 centimeters wide. The planting density ranges from 1 to 1.5 plants per square meter. Throughout the growing cycle, bananas receive regular fertilization to replenish the nutrients they extract from the soil. The dried leaves of the old plants are used as compost that enriches the soil. Farmers often remove weeds growing around the banana roots to prevent root rot or pests. Bananas have a high water requirement with mature plants consuming approximately 20 to 30 liters of water per day. This significant demand stems from the fact that over 95% of a banana plant's composition is water. Many farmers use drip irrigation systems for their banana farms. The total water requirement of the banana plant is about 900 to 1200 millimeters for its entire life cycle, and sometimes rain alone is enough. Typically, banana plants should be irrigated about every three to four days during hot weather and about seven to eight days during cool weather. The growth cycle of a banana plant is a remarkable process that unfolds over approximately nine to 12 months, depending on the variety and growing conditions. The first six months of a banana plant's life are dedicated to developing a strong root system and establishing a robust canopy of leaves. As the banana plant matures, it enters the flowering stage, typically around the six-month mark. The inflorescence contains numerous tiny flowers, each of which will eventually transform into a banana fruit. The final stage of the banana growth cycle is fruiting, which typically occurs three months after flowering. 
During this period, the small banana fruits rapidly expand and develop their characteristic yellow color. The fruits are arranged in bunches called hands, with each hand containing around 10 to 20 individual bananas. An entire banana plant can give about 200 fruits or more. Banana farmers carefully wrap the developing banana bunches in protective covers to shield them from birds and prevent damage from pesticides. Dole plants banana varieties that are resistant to common diseases such as Panama wilt and consistently produce high yields averaging 80 to 90 tons per hectare per year. The timing of harvesting fresh fruit will depend on the distance from where the fruit is consumed or marketed. But for longer distances, they are harvested green so they won't fully ripen in 19 days. Bananas destined for processing are also harvested at an earlier stage when they are still green and firm. However, the fruits still need to enter the ripening stage to have a natural sweet taste. Harvesting bananas is a labor-intensive process that requires skill and precision. The tools used for harvesting bananas include a machete, or a long-handled knife for cutting the bunch, and a shoulder pad for carrying the heavy fruit. The bunches are then carefully lowered to the ground to minimize damage because the bruise will show when the bananas are ripe Perfect appearance meets export standards to demanding markets such as Japan, Korea, China. Farmers often harvest during the coolest time of the day. Bananas are transported to packing facilities using trucks or cable. Harvesting can last for two months due to the uneven ripening of banana bunches. Yields are typically 40 tons per hectare of banana from traditional farms and around 60 tons per hectare in a well-managed plantation there are banana harvesters, but manual harvesting is still more common. Harvested banana bunches are carefully cleaned with a solution of chlorine and water to remove any dirt, debris, or sap that may have accumulated during the harvesting process. Individual bunches are separated from the main stalk and subjected to rigorous quality control checks. Bananas are graded and sorted according to size, color, and ripeness. For export markets, bananas are typically packed in sturdy cardboard cartons lined with plastic to protect them during transportation. Each carton is weighed and labeled with the product information, including variety, weight, country of origin, and any additional certification or quality assurance marks. Each box weighs approximately 13.5 to 13.7 kilos, Dole's packing facilities in Mindanao, Philippines, have an impressive capacity, packing an average of 50,000 cartons of bananas per week. After packing, bananas are stored and transported at a cool temperature of around 55 degrees. The entire process from harvest to market for Dole bananas typically takes around one week. However, when bananas reach their destination, they are often stored for another one week, so they have enough time to fully ripen Dole Philippines exports bananas to China, South Korea, Japan, New Zealand, and other countries within the same region. The Japanese market alone reaches about 9,000 tons of bananas per week. How often do you eat bananas? Let me know in the comments below. For now, goodbye and see you again in the next video.